Hello everyone, in this video I show you three different methods that you can use to turn an image into an SVG file that you can cut in Cricut Design Space. This is perfect for adding a personalized touch to all your projects, so if you want to see how I do this, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to remove background and I upload my photograph. This is so I could remove the background and I only have my actual picture to work with versus my picture and a background. So once you remove the background, you're just going to go ahead and save this to your computer. And the first method I'm going to show you is Inkscape. So you're going to go ahead and open up a new page in Inkscape. And then you're going to hit import under file. And you're going to search for your image that you just removed the background on. So this is mine. And then you're just going to hit OK. And here it is. And you can see there's no background on it. So now if you go to path, you're going to hit trace bitmap. And this window will open up. And basically here, you're just going to play around with the numbers. If you increase it, you'll get more details. If you decrease it, you'll get less. And also there are three different modes that you can use. There are the brightness cutoff and the edge detection. Um, here I'm using the brightness cutoff because I felt like this one looked better. But you're more than welcome to use the edge detection. So once you are satisfied, you're just going to hit OK and make sure that all of these are checked. And now you can go ahead and remove your image and go ahead and save this. And now you would just upload this to Cricut Design Space like you normally would any other image. and just hit continue. Here it is. So you're going to insert this onto your canvas. And there it is. Now I can go ahead and cut this like it is. Or I can clean the image up a little bit more under the contour option. So to do that, you're just going to hit the contour option. It's at the lower right corner down here. And when it opens up, you'll see a preview of your image. And all you do here is select all the pieces that you don't want to be cut. So if I don't want these little pieces here, I'll select them. And these pieces here too. And again, this is optional. But I feel that if you clean up your image, it's easier to weed out and you'll have a cleaner look. So then you would just go ahead and cut that out. The second method is using Rapid Resizer. So you're going to search Rapid Resizer in Google and you're going to hit Free Picture Stencil Maker and we're going to go ahead and Use an image from your device, and this will open up your downloads. So just go ahead and search for that image without the background that we saved. So there it is. And instantly you can already see a preview. And then down here you have different options. You can do edges, thin, so here's thin. And I actually don't like that one. And then you can do threshold. And then this one, you would have to adjust it. And then there's adaptive. And again, you can adjust these using these little pull handles here. So 
so you can make it darker or lighter and then you can also do just the outline but I don't like that one so I think I'm going to go with edges or adaptive either one and once you have the one that you want you're going to go ahead and save this onto your computer and to do that you hit download or print on one page and then here is a preview of what we are saving and then you just hit save to your computer and it'll go ahead and download so now you would upload this into Cricut Design Space let me go ahead and label this one was our Inkscape and now this is our rapid resizer So again, hit upload, select the image, and here it is. And then we're going to have to remove the background on this one. So hit simple, and then using the wand, select all the white, and you can zoom in to get a better look. So just zoom in and make sure that you select all the white areas in the image. And you can also clean this up using the eraser tool. So to do that, just hit the eraser up here and erase all the little pieces that you don't want to be cut out and again this is optional but I think it makes it easier to weed out and then you're going to zoom out and you can see a preview of it and if you're satisfied go ahead and save this as a cut image and now we can insert it onto our canvas and there is the rapid resizer and the Inkscape. So now the last method is using Cricut Design Space. So to do this, you go to upload and go ahead and upload that image that we removed the background from and then hit complex and then in the advanced options you're going to reduce the colors to two and the color tolerance to one and now you're going to use the wand to delete the areas that you don't want to show up so you're going to delete everything that's pretty much not black so we have a little brown here and the blue And then if you mess up, just go ahead and hit the undo button up here. So here's a preview of it. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that blue edge, which is kind of the arm. And then when you're done, just go ahead and save it as a cut image and insert it. And again, you can use the contour option to clean up your image even more.
So this is the design space image. So here is a look at all three methods. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I would love it if you subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching.